Welcome back to the Tips and Tricks for Teachers series. When teachers are given tips and strategies, they can do wonders with these, which go on to impact thousands and thousands of learners. In our last video, you learned about easy conversation tips. If you haven't watched that video yet, click on the I button in the top left corner of the screen, but please wait until the end of this video to do so. In this video, you will learn about acrostic poems, an extremely powerful literary device and teaching tool. Acrostic poems have multiple benefits and can truly revolutionize the way you teach and engage with your learners. Let's dive straight into it. type of poetry in which the first letters of every line spell a word. That word is the topic or the concept of that poem. Unlike other forms of poetry, acrostic poems are extremely simple to write because the lines do not have to rhyme and each line can consist of a single word, a phrase or many words. So even students as young as five and six years old can easily write acrostic poems and enjoy writing them too. Let's do an example. I'm going to write an acrostic poem about my friend Kiran. So the topic of this poem is Kiran. So what we do is we write the letters of the word down vertically, one below the other in capital letters like this. K-I-R-A-N. Now the second step is to think of words or phrases for each of these letters that describe the topic. In this case, words or phrases that describe Kiran. Let's try it out. So my friend Kiran is kind, intelligent, responsible, amazing, but very naughty. Now, as you can see, this poem was so easy to write. And all we did was use single words for every line. Now, the important thing to remember about acrostic poems is that the words or the phrases chosen for each line must be related to the topic or the concept. So the first benefit of acrostic poems, as you just saw from the one we wrote on Kiran, is that they are a fantastic way to learn, recall and build vocabulary. The second benefit is that they are a fantastic way to remember concepts and ideas related to a particular topic. Let's do one in math. We'll, we'll write an acrostic poem for the word line. So the letters to be written down vertically are L, I, N, E. Now what are the concepts related to a line? Let's fill it in. Length, indefinite, never, ending. So as you can see, each of these words is related to the concept of a line. So acrostic poems are a great way to teach and remember the ideas and concepts related to any particular topic. The last two acrostic poems that we wrote had only single words in each line. But the length of each line is totally up to the writer of the poem. So each line can have a single word, a phrase, or even multiple words or full sentences. It's really up to your own creativity. So let's take a look at an acrostic poem. This time, let's do one um, for a topic in science. And this one will have full sentences as well as some phrases in each line. Let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to write an acrostic poem on the topic of levers. So the letters to be written down vertically naturally are L, E, V, E, R, S. And here are the lines for each of these letters. Load is the object. Effort is the force. Very simple. Fulcrum is the support. Examples are bottle openers and wheelbarrows. Ramps? No, that's an inclined plane. Scissors and seesaws too. So as you can see, in this particular acrostic poem, each line was of a different length, 
some had phrases, some had almost complete sentences, um, and each of the lines was actually related to the concept of levers. So it's a great way for learners to remember the different concepts. The great thing about acrostic poems is that your lines don't have to rhyme like in traditional poetry. So it's pretty much write whatever you feel like writing. Another excellent advantage of using acrostic poems as a teaching strategy is that they're a great way to help your learners recall and remember words and concepts that they've previously learned. Acrostic poems are also a great writing strategy that help learners develop content further into paragraphs, essays, and compositions. Let's take a look at an acrostic poem that helps us do both of these. This time, let's write one in history on the concept of the Iron Age. So, the letters to be written down vertically are I-R-O-N-A-G-E. And here's our poem. Iron was discovered, really made life easier. Objects like plows and sickles, new and strong ones were made. Amazingly, great impact on the evolution of humans. Now, as you can see, Writing an acrostic poem like this allows your learners to recall and remember ideas and concepts that they've already learned. It's a great way for them to practice and revise. But if you take a closer look at this acrostic poem, you will see that it becomes a wonderful starting point for students to develop further into paragraphs, essays and compositions. We have heard from so many teachers that getting students to write to write paragraphs and essays and compositions is one of the toughest things that they face. Well, this is a wonderful step-by-step -step way for your students to achieve that goal. Have them start off by writing an acrostic poem. It's quick, it's fun, it's easy, so your students will not protest and in fact will enjoy doing it. And once they have the acrostic poem, simply ask them to develop those phrases out, those words or phrases or sentences out into a larger paragraph becomes so much easier for them to do. As you've seen, acrostic poems are amazingly versatile and have so many benefits for both the teachers and the learners. They're extremely simple to write. Students as young as four and five years old can attempt them. They're, um, they're very fun and interesting to do and keep your learners engaged. They can be used in almost any subject and almost any and every topic. They are a great strategy to help learners recall and remember concepts previously learned. They are a great writing strategy to help students create content that can be developed further into paragraphs, essays, and compositions. Of course, they are an amazing uh, strategy to build vocabulary. And finally, they're a great mnemonic device to help learners remember specific ideas and concepts. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on acrostic poems and all of the different benefits it can bring to you as a teacher. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And of course, please let us know through the comments if there are any specific topics or concepts that you would like us to create videos on. We'd love to do that for you. And again, do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on a single video. Thank you.